Slab City, which is the last lawless city in America. Lawless, roaming reckless, come on. It's pretty much on brand. You ready to break some laws, bub? <laughs> cool. Let's get to camp. Well, I guess the one good thing about this being a completely lawless city is that I don't have to worry about getting in trouble for where I parked the camp. It's definitely kind of creepy. <laughs> it is so windy here. <laughs> By the way, if you're new here, hi, I'm Maria. This is my dog, Blue, and we are living out of my Land Rover Defender 110. We're on a 50 state road trip. 50 states, <laughs> okay? This is, this is my house, so. Speaking of, I need to get my house set up for the night. Let's pop the yellow cab. Sand cleanup tomorrow is going to be out of this world. Get it. On the menu for tonight is carne asada tacos. Probably with a little bit of sand in it too, considering the amount of sand that's been accumulating since I got here. Uh, this wind is nuts and we're in the desert, so what can I say, sand is traveling. We're gonna do our best. You guys know I'm really not the best chef anyways. <laughs> but I'm getting better. I am getting better. Progress, not perfection. Let's do this. Look at this cute little kit I found at the store. It has like everything you would need for tacos. And honestly, this is what inspired dinner for me tonight. <laughs> also, before I forget, we cannot start without our Olipop. You guys, if you're longtime subscribers, you know the deal. There's literally nothing better. I have a severe addiction to the classic root beer Olipop. This flavor specifically, oh, just, if you haven't tried it, you need to. You just have to know to know, you know? All right, let's cook. I'm just now realizing I should have cut it before I put it in the pan, but it wouldn't be cooking with me unless I made a couple mistakes, so <laughs> what do you really expect at this point, you know? <laughs> how long am I supposed to cook carne asada for anyway? Do you know how long, Bubby? No? Me neither. I 
Okay, you guys, come on. For me? This thing is nuts! What am I, a chef now? A chef now? Wow, this sunset is so pretty. I really wanted to get here earlier today so I could explore Slab City before <laughs> camping for the night, but I think I'm actually just gonna have to do all exploring for the city tomorrow because I was driving all day. In the heat, by the way, too, it was great. Loved it. You guys know how I love heat, but I guess that's what you get when you're going through the desert, you know? What are we in a tornado, Bob? Listen, I feel like for me this is pretty good. You guys see what the heat does to my hair? I feel like I look nuts. It's supposed to be like 97 out here today or something. And I think tomorrow's supposed to be the same, so. I guess it is what it is, you know? Usually I try to avoid heat like the plague. I would much rather 100 million billion percent be in negative 20 degrees than be in anywhere near 100. You know what I mean? I did pretty good. <laughs> I'm growing up. Oh, watch out for the door. Having your dog pre-clean your dishes is one of the smartest things you can do. Okay, that's what I'll say. I guess I should roll up these windows and lock doors because from what I understand. Okay, was any of that necessary? <laughs> uh, anyways, like I was saying. Okay, can you stop doing that and just smashing all the dry goods that we have? <laughs> Maybe. Anyways, what I was saying is, <laughs> from what I understand, Slab City is not the safest place on Earth. Duh, Marie, it's the only lawless city left. It's like I have no IQ sometimes, I swear. All right, get back, go, get back. You are being crazy today, child. Okay, one window up and locked. Those other camps do make me a little nervous. Like maybe I shouldn't have put up the alley cap tonight. Maybe I should have just slept on the bottom of the pot. Too late, but hmm. Blue, stop pumping stuff. Gotta love Alucab built-in lighting. If you guys had to pick one household chore that you had to do for the rest of your life, what would it be? Comment below. I think mine would be laundry. I'm not the biggest fan of dishes. <laughs> you know. Oh, Bubby, stop trying to get in the middle of everything. Go back, get back, get back, get back, get back. You know, I had full intention on <laughs> filming last night and I just passed out, so good morning. Well guys, it looks like we survived the night. Nothing too crazy is really going on here that I've seen so far. I did see a stray dog this morning, so I'll be mindful of that with Blue, but um, Let's get ready and start exploring before all this heat sets in. Good morning, Papa Lou. Oh, 
always ignite. Man, it's already getting so hot. Go potty, but don't wander too far. Okay? I'm gonna get ready, BRB. Editing, man. I need coffee! Today's coffee of choice. This Remedy brand, I am obsessed with. Every product I've tried from there so far, I have loved. They have these one... <laughs> oh. <laughs> these things, the matcha, matcha fuel. Oh my gosh, you have to like matcha, obviously, for it to be good for you because it kind of tastes like hay, in my opinion, but like, good hay. <laughs> you know? I, I don't know. I think all matcha tastes like that, to be honest. I was thinking I should make coffee this morning, but it's supposed to be like 100 degrees, so hot coffee. Eh. I'll skip that today. Oh, it's just like thick. Fire. I also need to show you how I put the aloe cap down now, because I feel like everybody's gonna be really proud of me. So pretty much this part is still the same. Do you guys remember the video where I almost died trying to put the aloe cap down by myself? <laughs> I had a bunch of you comment and tell me to get a ratchet strap, so. I do listen, after all. And uh, this is how I put the aloe cap down now, because I'm not strong enough. Tricks of the trade, I appreciate your guys' comments. So I hooked this up to one side, but I don't want these to, be, like the struts to become uneven. So like I try to pull it down on one side and then like use my body weight for the other side so it's somewhat normal or like an even decompression. You'll see. I'm sure somebody's still gonna yell at me for the way that I'm doing this, but it's like the only way I can get the cab down without risking my life, so. Okay. you guys and she's all squared away that's the new way that we do it okay let's go explore the city before I die of heat stroke let's hit the road pup Hop up. I think we're the only ones here, bub. This is crazy. Oh. How cool is this, bub? Hi, thank you. Postcards to my nieces. I'll take these on the way out. Mama. 
this is so cool. I have actually been here before. I came here in 2018, but I mean, five years later. Excuse me, sir, are you trying to walk yourself? Hey, drop. It's not playtime. Blue. 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 Okay, drop. Drop. Very cool. Wow, the details in here are crazy. Wow, this, I mean, no matter what you believe, this place is beautiful. Oh, they like stuff in glass over here. Bobby, ball, play? Good boy. <laughs> You are such a good puppy cub. Good job, my little model. Oh, closed for repairs. I guess not then. Hey, drop. I just love all these paint cans. I love all these paint cans and all these colors. Hey, you're trained. Stop doing that. <laughs> so cool. Looks like a lot of this place is closed for repairs, so. We will move on. All right, Blue, where to next? East Jesus? <laughs> for too long, but I don't want blue to either. We'll just do a little driving tour. And then I want to go check out the library. Apparently it's open 24 seven. All hours of the day. What is this? All right, uh, here's your tour guide. We've got some yellow tires, white tires. There's a teal tire over there. We'll go back now. Those Barbies, that is so creepy. Hi. Thanks. I'm just I'm just driving through, but thank you. Wow, everybody is so nice here. What do you think, love? Impressed? <laughs> Alright, I want to see what this library is all about. <laughs> that sign says Google done did you wrong. Use front entrance. That's so funny, because I just used Google to get here. Yeah, it looks like everything is shut down. My thoughts on Slab City are that it's very cool here, unique art. There's a lot of beauty in it. 
But I think being around this kind of poverty and like the poverty that we saw on the reservation too, when we were doing the fundraiser series for the dogs, just has me so grateful for my life. Like the fact that I even have access to internet or a camera to talk into right now is just crazy. Like, if you're watching this video on YouTube right now, you are richer than most people in the world. Isn't that crazy to think about? I don't know, I just think it's like a good pause for all of us to take to just be grateful for what we do have. Life is too short, you know? Like imagine not having any access to running water or AC or the internet or like, what do they do for like food out here? Or like, what do they do for food out here? I'm sure they don't have refrigerators out you know what I mean? It's just crazy. Anyways, take a moment and be grateful for what you have today. I'm gonna get blue out of this heat. So, thanks for hanging out with us for another video, you guys. <laughs> See you in the next one, bye.